Have you ever thought, hmm, I wonder if my makeup is expired. Does it actually expire? <laughs> hey guys, it's Sarah from The Style Blog, and I'm gonna tell you when exactly every makeup product in your collection expires, how you can tell, and why you should actually care. All right, so first things first is why you don't want to use expired makeup. When makeup is past its expiration date, it starts to grow bacteria. And really, you don't wanna put bacteria on your face. That can lead to irritation, breakouts. You can even get styes on your eye. I have one of those one time. It was painful, it was annoying, I couldn't put makeup on, it was awful. I don't wanna have one of those again. And also, your makeup will start to not work as well and your skincare will not be as effective because the products are breaking down. So this is really common in liquid products like foundations. Okay. So the number one way to tell the expiration date of your product is to look for an expiration date on the packaging. So sometimes you can find it and sometimes you just can't. But most cosmetic products go by the date they're actually opened and not the date they're manufactured. Because once you open them, you start introducing bacteria into them. So for example, this concealer, you apply it to your face with a wand. Every time you put that on your skin, no matter how clean you think it is, you're introducing bacteria back into this. So this is gonna be a product that's not actually going to last as long as say like a powder product. So however, products that are not as wet, such as a dry powder, a blush, a contour, eyeshadow, etc., they're gonna last a lot longer because bacteria can't breed on this dry powder as well. So the number one thing I am most excited to share with you because it was honestly life-changing when I realized this is that most makeup products say how long they're good for on the back of them once they've been opened. I'm gonna show you. So for example, this makeup primer is good for 12 months after it's opened. Can you see the 12 and the M? That's what that number and letter mean. So this mascara right here is good for six months. Can you see the six and the M right there? This eyeshadow palette is good for 18 months. It says 1-8-M. This contour palette is good for six months, like it says right here. So I looked through all the makeup in my collection and I realized that probably, I don't know, 50 to 75% of the products had these numbers and letter on them, which is great, that's so helpful. But the problem is, how do I remember when I actually opened these? So I have two ideas for you. One is to write with a Sharpie on the back of it when you opened it, the month and year by the expiration here. So the second way I determine when a product expires for me is honestly when I get a product in, I use it almost immediately and it's usually stored under my account in Sephora, Ulta, Target.com, etc. Even if I purchase in store, it usually goes on my rewards account online. So I can look that up. Usually every six months to a year, I'll go through all my makeup and throw away whatever's expired. So I just pull up my accounts on my phone and see kind of when I got the products compared to when they expire. So these are not hard and fast rules like six months after it's going to expire on that day. If you notice that your products start to smell a little funky or they start growing like a mold or a film on them, they start to change color, they start separating and just kind of not working as well, uh, your best bet's probably just to throw it out. So I would say that the most products that go bad on me most often are mascaras because typically they don't last as long as other products anyway. So what I like to do is just um, every so often smell them. So I can smell when they start to go a little rancid, a little bit soury, sort of, I don't know, moldy smelling. It's, it's gross. You know it when you smell it and you just know you want to toss that right away because you definitely don't want to put that on your eyes. Ugh. Okay, so let's say that you've searched your entire product for the expiration date, you can't find it. You've also searched for that number and the M, which is how many months it's good for. You also can't find it. Okay, so I'm gonna give you a list of every makeup product and when it expires. Okay, first up, foundation. It usually expires in about a year from when it's opened. Next, lipsticks can last one to two years. However, liquid lipsticks that you actually apply to your lips and then put back in here usually last between six months and a year. They're a little bit less than the stick lipsticks because they do breed bacteria a little bit more. So a liner is usually good for one to two years. Mascara is really only good for about three months after you open it. I notice if I don't wear mine very frequently, sometimes I can stretch it to six months, but that's kind of pushing it. So you wanna to stick to like three to six months on these mascaras. They're probably the shortest lasting products, but you are applying them to your eye area, which can get infected really easily. So you really wanna be careful with that. Liquid liners are good for about four to six months. And then powder products are good for about one to two years. These are easily sanitized. They're so dry, they don't really grow bacteria as much as the wet products. And then cream blush and like the cream sort of contouring sticks are good for about a year and a half. 
So one thing I like to do about every six months or so is I like to spray down my powder products with like a hydrogen peroxide or a rubbing alcohol mix to sort of just sanitize the surface, especially if you've been sharing these with someone else, someone else has dipped their brushes in it, etc. You can also spray down or dip your lipsticks in the rubbing alcohol as well to sort of sanitize those. However, there's no really good way to sort of sanitize or even clean a mascara. Unfortunately, that's why they're not good for very long. So another thing I really need to mention is that you want to avoid sharing products with someone else especially like a liquid product that you can't sanitize such as the mascara or a lip gloss. However, if you want to share a foundation that has a pump, go for it. You can also share powder products and you just want to squirt those down with some rubbing alcohol afterward and it'll be okay. Same thing with a pencil, you can sort of just dip it in rubbing alcohol or spray it afterward and it should be fine. However, I just never ever let anyone near my lip products. I just, I don't know, that grosses me out. So bottom line, pay attention to those expiration dates, throw your makeup away, it starts to smell, starts to separate, changes color, or starts to grow mold or anything like that. I truly just want you to have a happy, healthy face. So next up guys, check out this video, I'm gonna link it for you right up here, where I tell you everything you can do with makeup that's expired or just makeup you don't like anymore. I give you way more options than simply throwing it in the trash. See you next time.